I think to understand properly Malakal, you have to understand the difference between triggers and drivers of the conflict. The driver of the conflict, because we saw this conflict building up in Rink, then it shifted to Malakal, was pressure on communities over scarce resources at a time in which the resources couldn't cope with the new influx. Those triggers are going to continue to be present and we need to recognise them and take the steps uh, in the communities who are facing these pressures to handle them in a peaceful way. It's our responsibility and we're very clear that there are no firearms allowed in UN, in UN camps. Camps may not be places in which people with arms congregate. And uh, we have such a rule. Our capacity to enforce it is always tested. Not only in Malakal, but throughout the country. And not only by the UN, by anybody who administers IDP camps. There are numerous ways of smuggling weapons into camps. And the best defence against that is to persuade the communities to take a lead in making it clear that uh, rearmament is not the way to provide security for communities. And one of the key messages that the SRSG has reinforced today is the importance of community supporting um, the humanitarian community and UNMIS in the delivery of humanitarian assistance that can best use the resources that we have because we need to really identify who are the vulnerable, the young, the old, the people who are out in the rain in this weather now so we can get that assistance to them. Shelter, making sure that everyone is sheltered this is of course a priority. Uh, secondly, there are people that have lost everything they had uh, in the fighting that went on last week and uh, making sure that people have the basic non-food items uh, that they need uh, in their daily life is a second priority. And of course the third priority, maybe I should have put that first, is to ensure that people that need um, uh, food uh, support and that need to receive food uh, or nutrition for babies uh, receive that. Well, it's absolutely false. We are meticulously uh, unbiased and impartial in our reaction and in our support for communities. And we do so consciously because we are involved in the business of supporting the delivery of aid, which has to be even-handed, and in the uh, protection of communities, which has to equally be even-handed. What is absolutely critical is that South Sudanese have to learn to live together and there can be no place for intercommunal violence or intercommunal hatred. And it's very important that the leadership of communities uh, are the first ones to pronounce themselves on this necessity. 